from a fucking chair. <laughs> from a chair, Aizen, Sosuke Aizen is owning, destroying pride, making motherfuckers feel like shit, and he's strapped to a goddamn chair. If that is not epicness, I don't know what is. So this chapter of Bleach wasn't the craziest, to be honest with you. As a fan, it had me excited yet again. I've been loving Aizen ever since he's returned to the manga, whatever. He's been crazy and everything. But in reality, a big chunk of this was the Shinigami being butthurt. Honestly, it was just their pride and shambles because Kyoraku was like, you motherfuckers ain't cutting the mustard. So we had to go get the big dog himself. We had to go get Sosuke Aizen. And honestly, I mean, down to Byakuya. When you got Byakuya there feeling like, motherfucker. You really trying to say that we shit and you need this motherfucker, really. And I honestly wouldn't be surprised if that, in a way, lowers their morale. So maybe in the fights, like, later on, Kyodaku's gonna have to remind them, yeah, I did that to protect the Sarah table. That doesn't mean that you guys are shit or whatever. Because it's like, all of them are there like, why did you get this motherfucker? Do you realize what he's done to all of us? And you're gonna go get him to help? Like, if we ain't shit? So it could have some sort of effect on their morale going into the fight. Which, again, Kyodaku was like, I don't give a fuck, bro. I gotta do what I gotta do to protect this bitch. And honestly, Aizen's expression when he's like, yo, free me. And Kyodaku's like, no. He's like, so you expect me to take care of this entire war and stop the Soul King's son from a fucking chair? <laughs> and the funny thing is, I still feel as though he's trolling there. I don't feel like he's legitimately being real. Because at the end of the day, right after that, Kyodaku is basically telling him, Bro, I saw those eyeballs chewing at you, and you're fine. Which means that Aizen is just on a whole other level yet again. It's kind of building up a little bit more Aizen. I felt this chapter was just really putting it that Aizen is here, bitch, and he's about to fucking destroy Shin, and again, he's strapped to a chair. And honestly, I don't give a shit what anyone says. I know I'm almost 150% certain at some given point, out of desperation, either Kyoraku or somebody is going to have to free that motherfucker from that chair because he can only do so much. And at the end of the day, Bach is too OP for Aizen to fuck with him from a chair. It's not happening. And the epicness, the epicness, I gotta talk about the epicness. With Aikido, bro fucking just started making all those eyeballs explode. Honestly, this chapter, again, it was a good chapter. The parts about it mainly that was just kind of like, okay, shut the fuck up already. Stop whining. All the Shinigami. I mean, even my bitch Soifon is whining. Come on, bro. At the end of the day, he's here. Accept it. Put your pride away. None of you motherfuckers could do shit. The entire universe is cracking in half and y'all can't do nothing. Accept it. So that was kind of part of the chapter. I was like, uh, can y'all just stop complaining already? And the more and more we hear about Aizen and how much he's advanced and whatnot, I honestly wouldn't be surprised if he still has the whole Gyoku inside of him, and that's what's making him, like, if these eyeballs are chewing on him, and it's doing nothing to him, he's able to do all these great things, and Kyodaku has this incredible faith in him, honestly, I think the whole Gyoku is still very well and alive inside of him, and maybe he's become a human container of it or something along the lines of that, so, yeah, Aizen is still a beast as ever, and judging from how it's been foreshadowed, he's a hell of a lot stronger than when he fought even Ichigo back then, so, who the hell knows how strong he's gonna be at this particular point, point? and I wouldn't be surprised if it was foreshadowing that that chair might be used as some sort of shield or something, since it withstood the giant attack that Aizen did that destroyed all those pieces of the Soul King, I wouldn't be surprised if, like, they used that as some sort of counter-attack or defense mechanism against whatever is to come because that chair I mean it's gonna fucking withstand a atomic bomb and honestly it just was an Eisen filled chapter because even at the end it was him being cocky I'm gonna set the rolls to the soul king's palace or whatever so overall with this chapter honestly it was a good chapter for the most part again mainly just build up for Eisen mainly just showcasing how much of a beast he is and how salty everyone is that he's back I mean the Shinigami could be salty but the fans is gonna be happy as fuck because I don't care what anyone says, right now Aizen is the hypest shit in this war for me personally and for a lot of motherfucking people. So 7 out of 10 for this one, good but nothing extravagant honestly, it was just mainly <laughs> Aizen is a beast. Let me know what you guys thought of this chapter, first of all, how did you feel about the Shinigami bitching about Aizen's return? Should they feel that way? I mean at the end of the day, if you can't do your job right, let a fucking man that can do it come through and do it. And do you think that Aizen still has the Hogyoku inside of him and that's why even those eyes biting him wasn't doing anything or is everything an illusion right now? Has Is Aizen still sitting in the fucking jail cell? and he hasn't even left yet but he has killed Aku in an illusion like what's up any overall thoughts of the chapter but that's all I have for this review thanks for watching hope you enjoyed if you liked anything I had to say or enjoyed the video drop me a like I'd greatly appreciate it and if you haven't subscribed if you do so as well that'd be amazing I'm Fnub World and as always people have an awesome day